you need to find these. Exolite. It's a 1 16th Allen wrench, essentially. Okay. 1 16th. So, how I do it is, you have, there's two ways to do it. On the front, they have your little measuring thing at the head of the, you know, got the, the threads right there in the, in the head of the pin. Right. The pin goes all the way right about there. Which is about like that. How I do it, because I'm just an, an old guy that doesn't like change. I look above it and see where the red, the red little dot is right there. Yeah. Is red? I move my uh, connector over it, and I, I, uh, I use my hand right, right smack in the middle, which is roughly about the same thing as it is, as it is in the front. I got you. So. Every, I'm gonna splice it out for you in a minute too. Oh yeah, appreciate that. So every single node has season screws in them on the outside like this. Righty toddy, lefty loosey. Let me let you get in here. I got you. All right. There are they are pretty uh, stiff, I guess if you will. So anyway, open the season screw, put your put your connector in. On the cable, whatever you do it, blah blah blah. Now what you're gonna what you're gonna find out is lock it down, wrench, whatever. Mm -hmm. When you tighten the season screw, it's gonna be about a half turn, maybe almost three quarter turn. You're gonna feel do it. Do not over torque you're gonna on feel the it. node. Do not over you will feel it. Do not over torque the node. Understood. You round these out or ship them out. It's all you just you, you <laughs> fuck the node. Now you gotta get another one. Because we need this port or whatever. Or you get a reroute cable this way if you have an extra port. So that's how you swatch the node. And then what, how do we, what do we do to test it? It's got to have power on it first. Right. Power it up. There's your forward outputs right here. Are we putting the power in it as well? I don't know. I have no idea what you guys are doing. Okay. Be honest with you. <laughs> we do we. Yeah. No, we mean we do, we don't. Yeah. When you get prints with no values and mm -hmm. things like that, you're kind of like, hey! Exactly. <laughs> so, um, if you are splicing nodes and you are setting them up, this switch needs to be in one by every single time. Okay. All this, this RCV board and the lid has to be in one by one X every time. They come from the from the factory at two, slide it over to one. Understood. Yeah. What that means is, is like all these, all four of these are acting as one, as one, as one, as one. Evident two. These two work. These two work independently. And going and the four X is all four of them are independent of each other. Where does the fiber go? Pigtail goes right here. He already knows. Yep. This is your receiver. This is your transmitter. Forward return. Forward, forward and return. return. Forward return. Forward has the pads in it. No problem. That you, that you bounce. You can bounce the node with. That's what we needed to know. Also. Yep. yep. Forward receiver. Because there was a lot of jobs where they were swapping them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In the return, in the return um, transmitters, there's a slot right here called uh, the SFP slot, or it's the SFP. SFP. It's a little card. You want yeah. the SFP slot? Yeah. Okay, it slides right in there. Slide it's right dummy in. proof. You can't screw it up. Got the little fucking little uh, little insert, uh, readout right. insert right yeah, there. No you, you follow then I plug, do I plug some fiber in there? You do. Your return fiber goes in that. Your return fiber goes in that. Your forward fiber goes. Forward in goes in right there. here. And then on the pigtails, that labels? Uh, no, but. I, I can help with that. Ford on the new pigtails for the 6100s, Fords are green connectors. Okay, and the blues are the, and the small, small blue, small blues are the return. LC? Yep. SC? LC, yeah. Okay. EPC. EPC. Naturally, each fuse is each port. EPC. So, whatever, whenever your power's coming in and you want power to go somewhere else, you fuse each one. They come automatically fused. If you don't like splicing with power on it, which I don't recommend, pull the fuses out so you're not shocking yourself while you're trying to splice. So, I just sit. Yes, yeah. super easy to pull out. You get to one of your nose, pull right out. No so, pull those out before we do any splicing. Yep. Put them back. Put done. it back, but I'll keep in mind where your power comes in at. You know, you know, if if you have to splice a node, you got to find out which port goes, which port has uh, has power, which power, which port is going to have power on it <clears> for your different. print. On the print. Yeah. Okay. And if you're at there at the power supply, and the power supply has its own little cable, you can stick it in the middle. These middle ports are power ports only. Power ports only. As you can see, because there's no module in them. It's just strictly for power. That's all it is. So <clears throat> you can literally isolate having power coming in here, pull all the shit out, and you'll still have everything else putting out. You Why know? do some people jump down to the uh, RG, uh, was it RG6? Mm -hmm. Those are, that's drop cable. That's drop cable. That's yeah. for each individual. On the node, though? They can. You can. Uh, it's 
not recommended. I've seen a guy do that. I don't know if he had enough cable to reach or if he couldn't get the pins or something. Temporary fix, tip yeah. fix, want that or you know. It's, it's, but that's not recommended. Not recommended. So Understood. How do we kill this mold besides uh, over torquing, shorting it out, strip it, strip, strip it. it. Okay. Try to cram a connector in there that's not going to go in there. You know? Understood. So, other than that, it's pretty dummy proof. It's pretty. It's, it's fairly. It's fairly dummy proof. Yes. Understood. Could you make sure he has your number? Oh, no, no, that's going to be my best friend. Oh, yeah. I, you know, Shit. I'm a <laughs> Just like, you know what I'm saying? Right. If it's dummy proof, guarantee I'm going to screw it up. Uh, you guys want to see it? Yeah. 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 Chats the same way, man. Yeah. Just, just, you do need to get your uh, set of nut drivers because you have a half inch or three eighths as well. Three eighths. Also does the same thing. And most importantly, your three sixteenths. It's inside. This is an 11 by 8, so technically it's self-terminating, but for, for training's sake. Right. Inside you have season screws. Mm -hmm. So let's say you guys are doing apartments or whatever, so we're going to put it like that. So your connector's going to go this way. So you have to move the season screw the other way. Open it up. Right, look at that. Right, right? Right. We already, we already measured and cut, right? Correct. So it goes in the little hole. Mm -hmm. And the season screw locks it back down. Yep, after you tighten it. But you need two wrenches to tighten it, usually. Yeah. That's what I see the old Crescent, guys do. Crescents, yeah, that's the old way of doing it. Yep. Lock it back down. So you're in, you're in the building one room like that, like that, boom, and then the other one goes on the other so side. So keeps going. Same thing, yeah, just keep going. In, out. Rocket science, gentlemen. It is. So, it is. And the tester should let us know the, the accurate levels. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, your your meter your meter should. I'm gonna find one on yeah, eBay. You trust get, me. You got to get your meters. It's like I found those 150 dollars corn tools. Yeah. Because <laughs> once you're done, if you're splicing and activating the whole thing, they're gonna want what's they're gonna they're gonna want that in those in line levels. Okay. You know, what do you what do you have here at this in line? At that the line. That way that tells them that everything in line you did right. Right. Okay. So. Uh, should I had a question? Uh, in the amps. There's, uh, I've seen guys modify the amps, I guess, to do what they yeah. need done. Yeah. Exactly pad, what are they pad, doing? Pad and EQing. Yep. Obviously, I don't have any amps on board. Okay. Uh, on the bed, I've got an amp inside here. Oh. Yeah, he's a wizard. Yeah, he's a wizard. Yeah, I don't want you to lose your... Yeah, I do not want to lose that. <laughs> yeah, he's a wizard. But a lot of those tools I think we got in that new tote we bought, it's got a lot of those... Uh... Oh, yeah, we got those. Yeah. yeah we got, we'll probably need another set. Everybody's probably need another one. set, yeah. Um, well, I'll just get my own set. Yeah, you know? I'm about to go get me some corn tools. Yeah. <laughs> I told you, bro. <laughs> you did, too. I was like, nah, I don't need them. <laughs> so, now. This is a Game Maker amp. You'll either run into SA here or Game Maker. More than likely, if you guys do a new build, it'll all be, uh, it'll all be nodes only. But no, yeah. If you do run into retro, it's high high probability you'll have Game Maker. Do we have power uh, supplies on that run? At, oh, what's one on Sambuga? Oh, 4200 what time? No. It just goes so. into a, a, a mux. Uh, it just goes into well, it, no, the node is on the fifteenth floor. Okay. Uh, no. It's no, the, the node is on the ninth floor. It's on the ninth floor. Okay. Where the MTG is, I think, is also on the ninth floor. But I didn't see it. It's got to have a power supply to it. It's got to have a power supply. Too, so I haven't done batteries. Uh, yet, so. I don't have, uh, battery swaps. Yeah, I would see guys in here just moving shit. I was like, well, what are they doing? Reverse forward. Checking the levels. Stuff for you. <clears throat> pads. That's what I got. In that bucket van? That's a little pad. I was wondering yeah. what the hell these were. Okay. That's exactly what those were. I don't have a. Do I have a. Yeah, I, still, I still got it. I didn't throw it away. Do I have a directional. Where do I do? Okay, there we go. There we go. It's like a logic circuit. It's exactly what it is. It's really cool. I'm just halfway stuffing it right now so you guys have some look at it. Right. 
Okay. Here's your input right here. Mm -hmm. See on the blue. You don't really work on the re reverse injection because you'll see everything on the forward. Here's your input. These are your outputs. Lots one, main, lots two. Okay. All right. When if you ever have to balance an amp, uh, this is a signal director. Signal director. As you can see, this side, this port has been terminated. 75 ohms is terminated, so this port right. is not being used, just in this case. You can, there's internal two-ways and DCAs and shit like that, too. So, okay. so, so but for just for training's sake, we're, we're just, these these two ports are active. Okay. So, from main is always this. active. Yeah, main will always be active. Your return outs will always be zero going through. Your forward outs, don't touch them, they're factory set. Game Maker put these in here for a reason. Lever. Your interstage stays the same as well. So all you gotta do with is this right here to okay. set it to set them up. Okay. Okay. Return pad, return EQ. Forward pad, forward EQ. Makes simple, right? So we're not like oh, if this side's active, we wouldn't touch the forward out in the uh, reverse. No, you, for, yeah, you do. Everything's on the forward out. Okay. You look, you look at everything on the forward out. But this is where you plug into. Yeah, that's where you plug into to, test. Get, to get your output. Yes. I got you. Yeah. All right. Now we get somewhere. Just like the node, these are your shunts. One of these ports will have a shunt in it to power the input. Okay. And if it has another shunt somewhere else, it's, send, it's sending power further down the line, just like the node. Does. And it will tell us when, where. Yeah. So typically, Game Maker got cute with it uh, years ago, and they made the, the red one. The red one typically signifies your input power. Okay. But you know, there's plenty of moron techs or like guys like me that I don't have a fucking red one. I just throw a black one in there. But it's kind of obvious where the fucking power is. Okay. If you gotcha. have a question, just stick your tongue on it and see if that's power. See if it's hot. Yeah. I got gotcha. you. So, if my hand stands up, it's hot. Right, exactly. So, anyway, so you check your input and go to go to your output. Balance your output. Balance your forward output. You know, to uh, uh, legacy equipment here is uh, 43 on channel 115 and 34 on channel 98. Your high, uh, your high and low channel. Okay. And the return uh, should lock at 38. So that is what your return should be. The EQ is usually used for sweep, mm -hmm. but. Sweep typically is it's not hooked up in the system much anymore because everything's going going to node only. So, okay. so we don't have to sweep these, we just keep testing. Just balance them. It's called balancing. Just balance. Just balance. Balance. Just balance But you do technically you do charge for the sweep when you get paid for it. Okay. <laughs> it's like technically. Technically. Yeah. yeah. And you also we also need some torches also. Yeah, for, yeah, for the heat. Because we got that well, We're not going to use that inside. We just but the underground they splice. Don't, typically, they yeah. don't use heat shrink indoor. Right. Oh, that's a lot. That's a lot. Is that the crash course, man? That is the crash course, right? <laughs> that's the let him get back to yep. work course. He's ready right. to go. Each node comes with a set of brackets. When you order your nodes. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Like so, if you're mounting a node on the strand, your brackets go here, and you know, it's, trust me, it's dummy proof. Or here. If you're mounting inside indoors onto a wall, sideways, your bolts go in there. Uh, does it have a template? I don't know. I mean, whatever, wherever you're I'll going build with, one. You guys we'll, have to build templates. Yeah, we'll to, make a template. Build the bracket. You have to build your own bracket. For fuck's sake, mount it to a stud. <laughs> don't mount it to drywall because it'll fall right the fuck off. Yeah. You know, what what does that weigh? Like 50 fail. pounds? At least. At least. I don't know. Mine. Yeah, it's pretty heavy. So we'll, we'll, put, up, we'll put up a backboard first. Fuck like that. Yeah. You back. Oh. Yeah, it's pretty heavy. Yeah, no. I have to take them down to run my cable and put them back up. 40 pounds? Yeah. So. Yeah, it's pretty heavy. Oh, I got a shit mount. Damn. <laughs> it does it. Okay. Sorry, I'm a field guy, you know what I mean? So. I'm a field guy, too. Look around. Yeah. 